Hey, what's up, everybody? 72 fans one bring you a clip of a red letter revival Midwest cornfield tubing. It's been a long time since I've been able to work on this, so the first two clips are going to be. I might record this a, a while back. I don't know what it was, how many months ago it was, but anyways, um, last time I was gonna put the when I left off, I was gonna put this the tires in with the tubes that were in them on the tractor and I thought that was going to work but it didn't because when I put the tires and wheels onto the hubs and let the tractor down on the ground the tires pretty much collapsed for all intents and purposes and wouldn't hold away the tractor. Since then I've gotten two new tubes and had them put in and pretty much I'm about ready to go off and put them on the tractor to see if they'll hold away the tractor. This time around I took it to a shop to have them use it with a machine to have them do it. Um because it was well, I don't know if it was cheaper. I might have been able to do it myself, but the tire guy was having trouble getting them on and off, so odds are I wouldn't be able to do it by myself. Um anyways I'm gonna show how bad these tires still are even with tubes in them um so let's just take a real quick look here as you can tell there's big cracks in that section right there and going all the way along there um just smaller cracks run all the way around and then there's another uh, big crack right there um big crack right there just a bunch of little cracks right there now for the other side more big cracks in this area and along there as well and along here just for good measure yeah why not but okay that's one of the tires and now for the other one cracks aren't decent sized cracks along here it's pretty much around the whole side of this tire um so let's see there's cracks in this rib here um the fact about these is um they're three ribbed what's called three rib tire because of this rib right here that rib right there and this one right here now there's uh i don't know how well you can see this but like you can see where my fingers are sitting in between here that's where they're uh, grooved in between the ribs so when you like uh we're planting crops and stuff or whatever you wouldn't run over what you had planted. So anyways, enough about that. Let's take a look at the other side of this tire here. Sorry, I'm a little under the weather today. Okay, just big cracks all over this tire. Um, yeah. Just all over the place. <clears throat> In all honesty, these tires, well, <laughs> are in really bad shape and probably shouldn't be using them but for what I'm using the tractor for for now I'm only gonna be able to be going like I don't know probably like less than 10 miles at the max so not too terribly concerned and new tires are 80 bucks a piece and that's a little bit out of the budget right now so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mount these on and see what happens and I'll bring you guys a clip either way about that so I will be back later hey what's up everybody 72 fins one bring you another clip and eh, the final video clip of Midwest Red River Revival Midwest Cornfield Tubing so last time I said I was gonna go ahead and put the get the wheels onto the tractor and see how it turns out and the results are it turns out good because 
my tractor sits up on the and it sits up and the wheels hold away the tractor so that's the right side as you can see no flats or anything like that it might just look a little flat because of you know, whatever but it holds okay for that one and the same for the driver's side so yeah I still need to secure this um, the cover on the passenger side but other than that I got this pretty much wrapped up um took one of the one of the rims and scraped a whole crap ton of grease off it and used it when I wasn't going to but it doesn't look half bad so yeah those are what the rims look like on the tractor I'm going to show you a tube right here and the rims and uh, two of the and the two tires I didn't use now we had um four tubes but I'm not going to show all of them because that would be just a waste of time the reason I'm going to show this tube is because of this get a good shot of it here this red spot right there that's a tire patch where this one's been patched once it's also been patched right right there it looks like so this old tube has had some help, and at the end of the day, it just wasn't good enough and needed to be replaced, along with one of the other ones. So, um, here's one of the rims, pretty rusty on one side, pretty rusty on the other side. This one doesn't look half bad on this side. On the other side, it doesn't look half bad as well. So, um, on to the tires. Um, here's the one with the sidewall ripped out of it. Pretty much bad shape. Now what you can see here is you can see where my hand's at. It's inside of the tire. This is where your tube would set inside of there. And inside the rim and inside the tire and the valve stem would poke out through that hole right there where my fingers at here so anyways that's the one of the ripped up tires I didn't use uh, changed my mind decided not to use this one with the big rip in the side of it so and the other side wasn't too terrible but the rip just scared me off a little bit from using it so anyways now just because I had a shop do this doesn't mean I don't know how to do this I'm gonna I'll explain a step by step of how I would do it or a method and a method that would work the best way I know how so if you got any questions just say so or whatever um, yeah so anyways, we got tires, we got spark, we, well we had a sediment bowl fixed up in here, but we're only walk around to the side where you can see it, right there. Um, I over tightened the dial on the bottom, so now I got to put in a new gasket and screen there, which I already picked up, I just got to get around to doing it. Um, put that back on reconnect the fuel line and we'll be good so yeah we pretty much got everything we can do right now um so let me put the tractor in neutral here for a second it's in gear and now you can see That it will move. 
so that's the tires out of the way. We got spark. We got. We'll have fuel soon. It fires up. So, bottom line is pretty much we're getting close to having this thing in operating condition where it can move under its own power. Now, move under its own power effectively the way I want it. No, but move under its own power would be a big step since it's been sitting for 20 years. So, but anyways, enough of me yakking. Um, I am going to leave the explanation of how to change out tire tube the best I can. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed these video clips. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Okay, here's my step-by-step -step explanation on how to change out the old tube from the new one. Um, first thing you want to do, take a screwdriver and push on the pin on the valve stem, and that'll let the air out of the tube. There's hooks that can expand and contract to hold the rim in place. Now the angled piece on the bottom of the tire bar, you want to push down the tire bar so it pushes on the tire and separates it from the rim. Okay, in this uh, picture here, the dark gray rectangular square around the pole, base pole on the tire machine is usually a lot farther down, but as you can see, pushing the tire bar down has made the angled piece push down the tire and separate it from the rim itself. Okay, in this picture here, the dark red tire bar goes inside the tire. And so what you want to do is you want to push down with the dark red tire bar. And then you want to work it against the pole on the base of the machine to use leverage and be able to work the tire up off of the rim. Okay, now here you want to grab the tube in the area of where the valve stem is at, where it goes through the rim. Now, what you want to do is once you grab onto that area, you want to pull the tube away from away from the valve stem on the rim so it comes out. Then you want to do is you want to reach onto the tube and pull it up and over the rim. And that marks the halfway point of when you're done with the job because the old tire tube has just been removed from the rim. Okay, now in this next step here, you want to line up the valve stem with the hole on the rim. And you want to push it through it. Okay, next thing you want to do is you want to carefully stretch out your tire tube over the rim and work it around and make sure the tube is inside the tire as well. Make sure the valve stem still stays in place. Okay, now in this final step here, you want to have your dark, well, the dark red tire bar inside the tire above the rim and where it's not going to stretch the tube. You want to push up on the tire bar and work it against the pole that attaches to the base of the tire machine and just work it down and work your way around. And all you gotta do after that is inflate the tire tube and that's it, you're done.